Hi, my name is Andrea and welcome to our weekly what's for dinner video. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our sweet little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinner ideas using everyday ingredients. Hey guys, it is about 5.30 in the morning here and I am getting my roast ready for the crock pot. In my freezer, I had um, this beef arm roast that my parents gave us a while back ago. They bought a uh, part of a cow and gave us some meat from that cow. And I've never used a beef arm roast before to my knowledge, so I had to look it up. Um, comparable to chuck steak, uh, chuck roast, which is what I typically use to make my roast. Um, but it said that this beef shoulder roast is more tender than a chuck roast, so we'll see. Um, but what I've done is I have sprinkled this Uncle Chris's steak seasoning on it. It is really good. And I am going to sprinkle a package of beefy onion soup. Normally I use Lipton onion soup um, when I make roast like this, but want to try something different. And then I'm just gonna be using one can of cream of mushroom soup. Now, normally when I make roast, I like the Mississippi pot roast, but I'm going back to the traditional roast that I used to make. And normally I would put some onions underneath that roast, but I don't have any, so I'm not gonna have any onion today. But I'm gonna sprinkle my seasonings on top of my uh, soup. I just wanted you all to see what the roast looked like um, as is. And this roast was about three pounds. Okay, so now I'm gonna cover and cook this on low for about 12 hours. I don't add any water, any broth, anything like that to my roast because that fat is going to uh, cook off and it's just going to release its own juice. Okay, so here is the roast. I cooked this roast for about 10 hours and it is super, super tender. Serving it over some rice and then I made some green beans with bacon fat and bacon and I used salt. And here is the rest of the roast in the crock pot. It's a bone right there. But you can see, I mean, it just falls apart. And you see all that juice, all that gravy, all that fat. You definitely don't need to add any water to a roast. It will make its own juice. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having something that I've had in my pantry for a while, this etouffee mix, and it is very good. You add your own seafood or meat. I decided to add shrimp and um, all you do is add your, your protein and then you add a little bit of tomato sauce and then the contents of the package and it is delish. Serving it with some fresh broccoli that I just stir fried and some buttered bread. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having pinto beans and smoked ham hocks over rice. I did record a video on how I make beans and I will make sure to link that in the description box. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having breakfast for dinner. So I scrambled eggs in this ghee, which I love. It's a clarified butter. And then I also added some green onions and cheddar cheese using these biscuits from my fridge, Southern Recipe. And then we are having breakfast meatballs. I picked these up from Aldi, it's been, I don't know, six weeks or so ago. Um, they had the bacon, egg and cheese, and bacon, egg and cheddar cheese, which is what I picked up, of course. And they also had a maple version. I did bake mine in the oven. There are microwave instructions and oven instructions. Probably could have used the air fryer too, but I just baked them in the oven because I was already baking the biscuits. Howard and I just tried the meatballs and we both said that the, the flavor of maple is pretty strong. And um, I like maple syrup like on my pancakes and waffles, but I don't necessarily want them in my meat. So probably would not buy them again. I mean, they're not bad. I will probably have to dip them in some barbecue sauce or something, 
um, to kind of kill that maple flavor. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I made Trader Joe's Kung Pao chicken, but as you can see, I doctored it up a little bit. I did record a really quick video on how I did it and I will make sure to link it in the description box. But this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.